Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry says the government has put in place strategies to double exports by the end of 2019. Carlos Sahinkra said the intention of his ministry and by extension, the government is to double exports by the end of 2019. Mr. Sahinkra has been outlining the government's strategy to increase exports as a measure of stabilizing the Ghana city in the longer term. Ghana's macroeconomic outlook is now better than five years ago when she went in for the IMF program. Dr. Albert Mama, Ghana's resident representative at the International Monetary Fund, has said. He noted that for the first time in a decade, Ghana achieved a primary surplus in 2017 and 2018, while the key macroeconomic indicators were trending positively. Parliament on Thursday passed the Payment Systems and Settlements Bill into law. The bill is expected to significantly trigger the growth of electronic payments in Ghana. The purpose of this law is to amend and consolidate laws and guidelines relating to payment systems, electronic money operations, and to regulate institutions which issue electronic money and provide payment services. The passwords of millions of Facebook users were accessible by up to 20,000 employees of the social network, it has been reported. Security researcher Brian Krebs broke the news about data protection failures, which saw up to 600 million passwords stored in plain text. The passwords that were exposed could date back to 2012, he said. In a statement, Facebook said it had now resolved a glitch that has stored the passwords on its internal network. Brexit has been delayed and may eventually be called off, but it's already done major damage to the UK economy. The vote to leave the European Union in June 2016 caused the pound to weaken dramatically and ushered in years of uncertainty that has reduced economic activity and triggered a slump in investment. The economy is now 2% smaller than it would have been if the United Kingdom had chosen to remain in the bloc, according to the Bank of England.